Okay, so first of all, I have two weeks left in the Netherlands. That's crazy. I feel like the time went by really fast, but I guess to new beginnings. We'll see how that goes. But that's not the point of today's video. Today's video, I kind of just wanted to talk generally. Like, I was walking my dog right now, and I was like, damn, like, so many of the foundations have like the foundations of sleep exercise and food have really kind of dived up into like a hierarchy of really building myself as a person and how i'm feeling more happier now i'm feeling more fulfilled i'm feeling more satiated and one sub subcategory of that is with food because i used to have a really broken relationship with food where i would eat 11 to 12 times a day i was really unhealthy my food choices were really bad i never questioned them and i've started becoming more aggravated and i started becoming more aggressive and i started being more unhappy and i didn't want more tired not wanting to do anything and you might think that this is a shit excuse that i'm giving myself but generally these foundational blocks they have such a big impact on you even to a subconscious level that you don't you don't even realize it like generally you don't even realize it until you start making a change until you start ha until you start having this comparison and recently for i would say like the last month i've had that comparison where i cut out like actually it's been like three months since i cut out um sugars and i cut out, cut out basically all my carbs and eating whole foods eating protein vegetables um drinking a lot of water and i realized that because i started becoming more satiated and i stopped having cravings i stopped giving my thought space to food i started putting that those thoughts into something else and that virtuous cycle really made me feel better about myself it really it made me quite fulfilled it made me feel way better about myself and this is just a subcategory this is not even talking about adding into adding in exercise and sleep and i might sound like a fucking obvious guru right now sleep exercise food but generally these are over said not for a reason there's no fuck there's no secret recipe secret patty recipe about how to build your life how to be happy you're going outside like generally i enjoy going outside now like this i enjoy going on walks now and there's so much of ourselves that we don't even know until we start fixing these like until we start fixing these basic foundational blocks and just so you know like generally sitting in your four rooms confined not only physically but also mentally with the social medias and this horrendous cycle of just going on social media being tired because you're tired you give your, yourself excuses you go eat like shit you nap throughout the day and then you go back to social media because you're too tired to do anything else and that was exactly my lifestyle and this is not normal this is not this is not how we as people were meant to live we're supposed to go outside we're supposed to go experience and i think the point of today's video is that when you get these foundational blocks then you can start enjoying your life then you can start not like i generally i was living other people's lives when i was on social media and i hated that like i i don't think anyone enjoys that i don't think anyone enjoys seeing how other people are living their lives to the max whilst you're sitting here spectating how they live their lives like so that made me like just delete social media and just go into a whole zone of self-growth and i kind of want to get into that after but the main point that i want you guys to understand is that they are simple these little simple things of sleep well they're not okay maybe i'm oversimplifying it now like the reason they're simple is because they've been evolutioned into us for billions of years and we're trying to eradicate that now in like such a short period of time like what when did phones even come out i, I swear it was like 2004 2005 like think about it that's not long that's like 20 years we had our phones and look at look at all the problems we have right now with chronic illnesses obesity rates mental health rates that's the way we're living is not normal so you could either be a part of that statistic that's not living normally or do something about it and with doing something about it it's not as hard as you think you don't need to go buy someone's course in order to educate yourself like that there's with phones you can also use them correctly and the way to use them correctly is educating yourself on the science behind that what how you should be li listening uh listen to andrew huberman he's phenomenal he gives you all the information scientifically backed on how you should be like having light going outdoors um sleeping seven to eight hours a day 
put what you should be putting inside your food, some uh, supplements. And all these factors, they contribute to yourself today. They are like the, like I said, they're like the foundations to a bigger hierarchy of your own identity. identity. So we have this version of ourselves in our own heads that we think, oh, this is just us. It's just me, you know? But what if it's not? What if, it, what if the version that you are right now is not you? What if you're just the byproduct of your all, all your habits, your environment? And I think we give ourselves credit for ourselves more than we have to because I don't know about you, but when I change environments, I kind of see differences in myself. And I sometimes question that if I change this environment permanently, if I went into this whole other destination permanently, how that would affect me. Even in the conditions that I'm living in, if it's colder or hotter, if it's colder, I'd notice myself getting a little more um, sad. I, I notice myself moving a little less. And all these factors, they impact me as a person. So we have to stop putting ourselves in boxes. And I used to do that where I would just put myself in boxes as I'm this, I'm that, I'm this. But understanding that we're more fluid and we as people, we adapt really easily. And that was shown through the fucking junk food epi epidemic. We adapted to it so easily now and also to convenience. Like we don't even have to get up from our beds right now. We can just order something to our house. That's fucking crazy. And like, it's crazy that we don't even have to interact with people. And this is generally what builds our mental health. And you see all these brands trying to sell you something of, oh, you this online platform, this dating platform, um, these supplements, these um, this Ozempic. When this is just band-aids on the problems this is not actually fixing the root cause of your unhappiness and these foundational blocks that i laid out this is what makes you you it makes you it makes you so much more fulfilled with yourself and i really hope people get to experience that now with the self-growth and self uh, self-growth i guess that when you like when you enter and you start fixing these areas of your life there's a lot there's going to be a lot of taking initially instead of a lot of giving and i kind of want to talk about that because people kind of get scared of that and i kind of got scared of that too because it's like oh i'm saying no to myself so much i'm limiting myself so much but i think the right ideology to this is understanding that you're taking for a short period of time for you to give back to other people in the long run on a more positive scale so you can impact people more you can also make uh you can also strive for them to be healthier because we as people we learn from other people so once you're that once you're that role model for someone they will pick up on these habits too so just think about it that way if that if their concern is that you're going to be more closeted off initially you're going to be saying no to maybe even the friend groups that you're around right now how they're impacting you because the friends and your environment they have such a strong impact on you so the smarter choice is not to have this willpower the smarter choice in my opinion is to change that environment for yourself and if it's saying no to that friend group then it's saying no to that friend group if it's saying no to going out all the time it's going no the per the fact is that it's very individualized and i think you should determine that for yourself but another point of this is that maybe sometimes it's good to be selfish maybe sometimes maybe dedicating an hour or two to go to the gym for you to have that head start like personally when i go to the gym in the morning i feel like my day is so much more better and because i feel like my day is so much more better i feel more happier i feel more productive and that has just more positives than negatives so maybe saying no to like going to brunch with your family and being like okay guys like i'm gonna go to the gym not only is that going to make them question their own habits but also for yourself like you're just being a more positive force for yourself and be because this is obvious but i really think people forget this is that we generally do just have one life and the way people are living right now it's i don't know it's it's, it's horrendous i don't think people are living right now i think people are just being abiding to their habit their daily habits to their daily conformities of what their people of their what their family has told them what their religion has told them what their what social media has told them and they're not even asking how they want to live their own lives and i think that's such i don't know it's sad because i do think people constantly forget about their mortality about we have one life and ugh, go out and do that crazy shit because 
all these barriers that we form, most of them are in our own heads. And getting these foundational blocks, I want to get back to that at the end of the video, getting these foundational blocks sorted, I've generally seen such a big difference in my life. And it's not through buying courses. It's not through Ozempix. It's not through um, just fucking scrolling on social media and seeing tips and hacks on how to um how to like getting smaller plates to reduce your portion sizes like that's all wonderful and shit but if you just focus on the basics and i really recommend you to watch andrew huberman generally if you focus on the basics it will it will transpire and translate onto everything in your life and i kind of want to end it on this note